afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. The guys got a, you know, I hate to say it, but I, I guess we can call this a retro RV review today. Um, this is a 2000 model Newmar Dutch Star 3865. This is a 38 foot long class A diesel pusher with one slide. You know, just, and it's all original. I mean, really, really nice. Just turned 50,000 miles. Very affordable for the quality you're getting at 39.9. Um, it does have built on a Spartan mountain chassis. It does have the 300 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel. I know it says 275, but it, I have verified it is a 300. Uh, with 660 pound feet of torque, 300 horsepower, 5,000 pound towing capacity and a six speed Allison transmission. And it's, this is a nice one guys. I know it's an older one, but I know not everybody's into these older ones, but I love the decor of it. It's just got an awesome setup on the inside. Um, you know, really nice for somebody wanting an affordable diesel pusher. These things are hard to find in this price range that aren't junk. And this one is far from it. I do have the motor home running. I've got the generator running. It is the upgrade 7500 Onan diesel generator purring away powering everything inside i got the acs on i've got the uh, refrigerator on and even the dash air functions in this cold that's unusual for a 2000 model this unit came in on trade out of georgia uh y'all remember that truck and truck camper i filmed here a few weeks ago this is what this came in on i don't know what in the world's going on ambulances and police going everywhere um, Hercules tires still got the tabs on them still look great got the airbags air suspension got the air brakes one slide on the other side and the exterior of this thing to be 22 years old is in great shape is it perfect no but what 22 year old motorhome is you got a little bit a little bit of cracking on the edges and peeling on the edges of some of the stripes but nice class a i love these older new mars guys i mean just awesome awesome five thousand pound tow capacity little spot on the bumper where they backed into something or somebody did in the past 22 years got a slide topper window awnings 50 amp electrical service, of course. Of course, I'm running completely on the generator right now. 10 gallon DSI water heater. Pretty much everything that was top of the line in 2000 is on this coach. You know, that Spartan chassis was a big upgrade back then. It's got the independent front suspension, which is something Freightliner didn't have back in the early 2000s. It does have the driver's side door. Windshields look great. And believe it or not, guys, and I can't say this about many older motorhomes, I've got this thing several thousand dollars under NADA average retail. Uh, hang on, I'll pop that up real quick. And that's very unusual to have that in an older motorhome that's clean and good miles because normally something this age that's in this good a shape with those miles is normally several thousand dollars above nada retail and uh so that really surprised me when i saw it's got a value for over uh, over forty five thousand. so it's a great deal all aluminum uh superstructure aluminum frame uh of course newmar guys that brand needs no introduction newmar corporation has been one of the premier RV builders for over 50, 60 years. I mean, these things have a reputation that speaks for itself. You know, two brands that have, that really stick out, especially in this area is Newmar and Tiffin. I mean, there's a few others too. Some of the Winnebago's, uh, of course, Winnebago's, the uh, Monaco's, things like that. But, you know, Newmar is a brand you, you really can't go wrong with. 
I mean, I, it just came in, so we haven't cleaned the carpets yet, but I'm gonna have them do that because I wanna save these carpets. They're in decent shape and they're all original. Let's look inside, step up in. Flex steel leather chairs. Look at the colors in here. You know, I always liked these light colors in the RV in, these, in this era. It just really opened it up in here. You know, the off whites and, and the bright whites. And yeah, I know the colors may be outdated by today's standards, but the light cabinets, I always love that about, about, these, about this era of the RVs is the colors. It really opens it up in here. Makes you feel like you're in a lot wider, bigger space than you actually are. Um, but up here in the front cab, backup camera works. It may not show it on my camera, but that's because this is the original backup camera. That's a CRT monitor, but in real life, uh, it's got a clear picture. It's just because the refresh rate between this monitor and this camera doesn't really exactly uh, jive, so to speak. Uh, let's see here, 50,268 on the clock. Dash air works. Um, got all your switches. Got an air horn, if it works. Let's see. Air horn works. <laughs> all your dock lights, your generator, your preheat switch, all that's up here, fog lights. Uh, battery boost flash it does have the hwh hydraulic leveling jacks dash looks good uh got a small television up here that's been updated over the years from the crt to uh, a modern hd tv it's just a smaller screen because they built it into it instead of the outside so you've got a small tv and if you wanted to change that something you can do is uh build you a panel right here maybe cover it vinyl to match the cabinets and then put you a uh mount a tv there and then just you know try to make it where it's not so wide that you can't get into your compartments up there but you can put a lot bigger screen in here if you want to if you if you're like me I, i'd be perfectly fine with that tv i don't watch a lot of tv when i'm rving anyway uh six speed allison got power windows Heated power mirrors. This is just a neat old motor home, guys. And, and I know this may not be for everybody, but I, I like it. And uh, I like the fact nobody has taken something like this and ruined it by painting cabinets and walls and replacing the furniture with house furniture. And, uh, you know, two things that drop the value to me personally on an older RV more than anything is the words remodeled or updated that scares the crap out of me about the value i don't know about y'all i know some people like that but i'd be ashamed to ruin this thing by doing that but i mean i guess if you buy it and you want to do it it's your motor home you do what you want but just don't let me know about it <laughs> uh you do have a sleeper sofa across from a chase lounge this does not make a bed i guess you could sleep a kid or, or a small adult here but this sofa does so it's technically a four to five sleeper Look at these original ceramic tiles, and I cannot find a crack in it, which does not surprise me on a Spartan chassis. Spartan chassis are one of the best riding chassis out there. The only downside to them is their turning radius. In a U-turn situation, something like that, is a little, is a little awkward uh, compared to like a Freightliner or a Roadmaster from back then. But it more than made up for it when you're on the road and you get a superior ride and drive because you spend more time driving straight than making U-turns anyway. So, you know, when, and you just take a little getting used to um, as far as making U-turns and stuff like that. As far as just regular turns driving, you're absolutely fine. Books and manuals are in here. Uh, table and chairs. Got the other two chairs in the rear closet that uh, would go to this table. Got a Dometic. Uh, that is probably going to be a 1062. They used a lot of these in the new Mars back then. Um, I haven't cleaned this unit up yet and I actually feel it starting to get cold in the back so we should be good there. These were actually pretty dependable refrigerators back then. Not bad. 
Let's see if I was right. Two, 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 two. Ah, NDR 1062. That's actually a 10 cubic foot uh, RV refrigerator freezer that runs off of propane or electric. I've been around RVs too long, guys. <laughs> but I've always done, always had an admiration for these new Mars, and I'm pretty familiar with them. Um, in fact, you know, I you, you Google 2000 new Mar Dutch Star, you're going to see a lot of my old videos from years ago where I've reviewed them back then. Uh, no cracks in the tile, no cracks on the beautiful Corian countertops. Still got the stove top covers there. Um, so this thing's been well taken care of. Three burner stove top, which I can't imagine it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of use showing on it, but like I said, it's 22 years old. Microwave, convection oven, in good shape. You've got double basin sink. That's a filtered water dispenser right there they used to put in them. Um, I mean, nice solid hardwood cabinets. Got some LED accent lights. I'd say those have been updated over the years. Got some extra racks for one of your closets. You do have a solid sliding door to separate the bathroom off from the rest of the RV. Again, you've got ceramic tile going all the way to the rear bedroom. There it picks up more carpet. You've got a side vanity area. Is that Corian as well? Yep. Solid surface Corian countertops. Medicine cabinet. Pretty cool bathroom. Uh, decent size shower skylight notice that there's no yellowing in here that means it hasn't spent a lot of time stored outside between uses because usually over the years that uv rays coming through the skylight will bleach the abs plastic in here a bright yellow doesn't show any of that you do have a water closet with a china elongated rv toilet even the crown mold, everything in this thing is just amazing condition. And it does have a washer and dryer, by the way. For those of you that need a washer and dryer, it does have a combo in here. So, for those of you that need it, that'll save you a little bit of money. Well, more than a little bit, about $2,400, $2,500, put one of those in one. And this is pretty cool. Uh, they used to call this and this was actually, it had to be ordered this way because originally a 3865 would have came with a north-south bed instead of an east-west, but Numar did offer what they called the honeymoon package, is what they called it, don't ask me why. I guess I figured you're honeymooners, you can be close to each other. They also offered a honeymoon package where you could actually flip-flop everything around and have a east-west Queen Island bed in your closet in the back instead of the side. So, there's no slide in here, so it is a little bit tight compared to a lot of them. But, I mean, nothing that you can't get around. And, of course, keep in mind we're standing right on top of that big motor. And also keep in mind I'm six foot four, 315 pounds. So I'm, I'm probably a lot bigger than most of y'all will be. And you do have a queen bed in here. I like the ceiling fan. You do have a television up here. That will actually, it's been it's been upgraded over the years, but you actually, it'll actually pull out and tilt sideways. Just some extra storage. Your chairs are in here. Got you a couple of extra chairs in there. Uh, you know, good size closet. You know, this, there's no sagging in the headliner. It's a uh, it's a new Mars, so you've got that, that Brytech roof system that is supposedly, and they really hold up because here it is 22 years old. It's still holding up, so you can say what you want to, but, you know, nothing is a testimony to how well an RV holds up than the test of time. And uh, 22 years old, this thing's in great shape, a lot of life left to it. I mean, you've got that isv cummins diesel that you take care of that motor you, you can put hundreds of thousands of miles on if you take care of it keep it maintained and serviced and repaired as needed 
I mean, literally, you, you probably, even though this thing's 22 years old, you, you'd be hard for one person to wear this machine out. Uh, generator runs great, powering everything. I've got the roof airs on. It does have new Mars. This is probably about the year, first few years they started it. Notice you've got two units on the roof, but notice that you don't have the traditional return, uh, air conditioner return, like, like having one here, then one in the back bedroom. And this is actually, I have a patent on this. This has got the even cool technology. And what that does, instead of having one unit sucking up all the hot air, or one vent sucking up all the hot air, distributing it throughout the entire RV, you've got both. If you're looking toward the back on the left side, notice the filter in the vent. That is where it sucks up the air, and you can feel it too. And then it comes out right here. And it's through the whole coach like that. And this way you have even cooling even when you're away from the central units, which are on the roof, you don't have hot and cold spots. You've got even cooling throughout the entire RV and still have lots of airflow. And they actually have a patent on that. Numar is the only manufacturer that has that system. And they hang on to that patented patent dearly because they don't anybody else. Because I honestly, I think it works so well that I think everybody else would adopt it if they could. And, um, of course it makes it quieter too because you've got that big thick insulated roof between your air units and this and you don't have that return directly underneath it with basically no insulation in it so definitely the roof airs are a lot quieter than a traditional dual rooftop unit but anyway guys 39.9 and we do guarantee the generator to run and put out like it's supposed to we guarantee the roof airs to get cold we guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get to operating temperature. We guarantee the slide out to work and the steps and for it to go down the road like it's supposed to. Um, as far as running, driving, shifting, and all that good stuff. But you know what, guys? It's uh, for the age, the price, and the year model, this thing's a home run to me. I mean, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Uh, even if you're not a retro RV fan, this is still cool. Never thought I'd be doing this long enough to call a 2000 model a retro rv but <laughs> you know that's just part of it ah, and plus this thing looks good will look really good after my uh well cleaning person gets in here I'm not cleaning crew i don't have one of those right now and put you know puts a little tension on these original carpets <coughs> they'll come back to life and you only have a little bit of carpet here and in the back bedroom so it's not like this thing's carpeted front to back. I wouldn't change them out. I don't. They don't need to be changed out. Thank y'all so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, Thirty-nine nine out. Now, one thing I do have to disclose um, is that being a two thousand model, I cannot get financing on it. You know, this is going to take a cash buyer to buy it, or somebody that can go to their bank or credit union and get a loan on it. And, you know, if you need to go to your bank or credit union, give them a call or stop by, talk to them, and let us know what they need, and we'll be happy to send it to them via fax or email. Um, but now, I have no financing available on a 2000 model. Uh, the nationwide lenders that I'm partnered up with do not go much under about 15, 16 years as far as age of RV. So, um, so like I said, this is more or less going to be a cash customer, somebody that can go to their bank and get their own money. We do take trades, obviously, that's how we got this. And uh, we do offer nationwide delivery, $1.50 a loaded mile, one way. We have no fees besides applicable sales tax. And if you are a Georgia resident, you do have to pay a $100 highway impact fee and a $40 to $50 tag and title fee like Everybody in Georgia pretty much already knows that, but that, of course, that does not apply to out-of-state buyers. So if you come from any other state in the United States, you don't have to worry about that $100 highway impact fee and $40 to $50 tag and title fee. But, you know, every state may have their own version of that fee. It just depends on what state you live in. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If 
If you have questions about it, let us know. Give us a call at 706-965-7929. Always call before coming to look to make sure it's available. Um, keep in mind, diesels in this price range go quick. Very, very fast. It's hard to find a 50,000 mile gas motor home with a slide out for this price. Much less, uh, and, and, it's, and I can promise you that that gas motor home won't have the build quality of this new model. I mean, this thing is just amazing condition for the age. Again, guys, if you have any questions, give us a call. My salespeople are here to help you. 706-965-7929. If you're coming a long distance away, you may want to consider leaving a deposit on it to make sure that it's here when you arrive. And uh, check it out. Even if you don't like, even if you're not looking for a retro RV, it's still cool to look at. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Like it, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, RVs with Big Bow. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page, RVs with Big Bow. You can actually message me through there. I'm not in sales, but I don't mind help giving you advice, trying to save you some money, things like that. You know, as far as like if you're buying from like a franchise dealer, a big dealer. You know, we're an independent mom and pop dealer, so we don't have to get rich on everybody that buys an RV from us, like my grandpa used to say. You make your dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters, and, you know, if you watch my channel and enough, I promise you, you'll you'll be one of the dimes instead of one of the quarters. And uh, that's why we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. That's why people travel from all over the United States to buy from us. It's I mean, we've got the deals here, guys. I've got lots full. I've got a lot full of motorhomes. Probably, I've got about 130 out here right now to look at. I don't have them all on the website. In fact, i got quite a few not on the website, so always call ahead. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, parkwayrvcenter.com, always call, talk to a salesperson. Tell them what you're looking for, and we may have your motorhome here, or fifth wheel, or travel trailer, whatever you're looking for. It's not posted online yet. If we don't have it, it'll probably be coming in soon. Y'all got to realize we sell 15 to 20 a week. We've sold 20. Of course, today's the last day of the work week as far as sales, but I think we're going to finish up with about 25 this week. And um, and we, we buy that many or more every week to keep our supply replenished. So definitely subscribe to my channel. Talk to one of my salespeople, leave them your name and number, and they can call you when the unit you like, like you're looking for comes in before it goes online and give you a chance to buy it. And if you're and also if you hit that subscribe button too, guys, another benefit you may not realize. Hitting that subscribe button on my YouTube channel, of course, helps support the channel, of course. It's free to you, it doesn't cost you a cent to do that. Um, and but it also gives you an opportunity to see these units. It was about a 24-hour head start before it gets into it. See what it is. I do the video and I put it on the website, our website, Parkway RV Center, at all at the same time. And once it's on the website, it goes into an automatic feed that goes to RVT, RV Trader, eBay, uh, Craigslist, Facebook, and more. All the all the top sites for RV shoppers. And it takes it about 24 to 48 hours to publish everywhere once it's on my website so you have that day or two head start before literally thousands and thousands of rv shoppers see the ad and um being a subscriber to my youtube channel of course i've got 32,000 plus subscribers does give you a chance to see it and give you and if you hit that bell notification button you'll get notified on your phone uh, every time I post a video and you can choose to watch that video or not but at least you know about it and say hey you can call say hey I want to buy this coach or I want to come look at it leave a deposit or have questions about it or whatever um, before uh, most most everybody else sees it and never assume you're the only person looking at an RV a used RV for sale at the current moment and um, never assume that guys that's that's very very that's a mistake many people have, have made. Oh, nobody else is going to buy it. I'll, 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 I'll wait a couple of days and then leave a deposit. And they call back a couple of days later. Nope, I already sold it. And that's happened to many, many people. It's for sale until somebody leaves money on it, guys. That's just business. When you're in a high demand, 
uh, market like used RVs, you know, it takes money to buy, not promises. And that's true anywhere you buy. You know, it, it, it'd be different if I had a hundred of these motor homes just like this for sale, but I don't. So if you want this unit, best speak up now if you want a chance to buy it. Because I do not get these older RVs like this for this price in this nice condition every day. I like to, I like to try, but <laughs> you know, not always. Thank y'all for watching again. Uh, Delivery is available again for dollar fifty a loaded mile one way. We do not charge for the return trip. Uh, we also um, take trade ins and more. Best way to contact us: pick up the phone seven zero six nine six five seven nine two nine. Thank you for watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.